Though her case was ruled as suicide, evidence suggested otherwise. However, since it involved three officers, could this be a cover-up? The mysterious death of a heavily pregnant pre-troubled teen, Sandra Birchmore, remains a mystery to those who are familiar with it. Described as quiet but with a difficult past, Sandra struggled with her mother's, grandmother's, and aunt's passing within three years. Her mother and grandmother died less than a month apart in 2016, and her auntie in 2019. This resulted in her having a strained relationship with whoever was left since her father was never in the picture. Nonetheless, a few months before her demise, she had turned things around for the sake of her baby's future. On that fateful day, February 4, 2021, she was found dead in her apartment, hanging by a scarf on her bedroom door handle and seated in an upright position. Though everything, according to the police, pointed to a suicide, the apartment's CCTV footage suggested otherwise. In a clip released to the public, former police officer and supposed baby daddy, Matthew Farewell was seen entering and leaving the apartment in a disguised manner. He had his black hoodie up, which is uncommon for most white folks, and was covered everywhere, including his face. His demeanor was also suspicious, as he seemed to be peeping out and making sure no one saw him coming in or leaving the apartment. A few days later, Sandra was found dead after friends had requested a welfare check since they hadn't heard from her. Soon after, an investigation began and it revealed a lot of skeletons within the Stoughton Police Department. Allegedly, when Sandra was 13, she joined the Teen Explorer program, where aspiring teenagers learn more about police work. But three officers took advantage of her. Namely, Matthew Farewell, his twin brother William, and Officer Robert Devine. All three had inappropriate relations with her by the age of 15. But William and Robert claimed they stopped after they realized that what they were doing was wrong. However, on the other hand, it seemed Matthew didn't until Sandra fell pregnant. Unsurprisingly, he denied the pregnancy since he was a married man, and his wife was also expecting around the same time. Additionally, he refused to take a DNA test or polygraph test to prove he wasn't lying about anything that transpired between them up to her death. He told his fellow officers that he knew he was telling the truth about ending the relationship before her conception in 2020 and that there was nothing that would convince him otherwise. When asked what he was doing in her apartment on February 4, he claimed that he had gone to tell her to stop harassing him by sending numerous text messages and phone calls and telling people they were together. Yet they weren't anymore. Though it was clear he was lying, they let him go, and he resigned the next day. That following year, on August 19, 2022, Officer Devine and William Farewell also resigned. And no one has ever been held accountable for Sandra's death or her babies. Sadly, the family is still seeking justice to this date, and I hope that one day they will receive it because they deserve it. What do you think about this case? I am sure it's only a cover-up, as there are many loopholes. I pray that one day someone reopens it and all three are brought to book. My heart goes out to her family and friends.